When you ask me about uh, failures of just war theory and pacifism, um, one failure of just war theory you see in the book by Jean Bethke Elstein called Just War and Terrorism. Um, the whole book is an argument that it's just to make war against terrorism. But because that's her whole focus, she, not a single sentence in the book identifies anything that causes people to be recruited to terrorism that we could do something about. It's all about it's okay to make war, but nothing about what would you do to make peace. Zero. She and I had a debate. There were 500 scholars there, and I made that point. And she grabbed, reached over and grabbed my copy of her book and started paging through to try to find a sentence. She couldn't find one. It, it just total focus on it's okay to make war. That's the, what just war theory can get you into unless it's combined with just peacemaking. So you know you really want to try to make peace, and so you got to see what just peacemaking practices might make a difference. Similarly for pacifists, um, if pacifists are perceived as only being passive, or as just opposing war, but not having an active strategy for making peace, then they aren't as persuasive. But if pacifism is connected with just peacemaking, so they have active strategies like Martin Luther King had, or Cesar Chavez had, or the leaders of the revolution, the candles in East Germany, I was there, um, had. Then they've got a strategy that really in, in, in increases the persuasiveness and, and gets more, many more people to support it. Um, so, so it strengthens both, actually. Just war is supposed to be working to prevent war. Well, that's what just peacemaking does. And, and pacifism is supposed to be working, you know, to, to be in favor of peace. Well, that's what just peacemaking does. It's the strategy for making peace.